we're losing one of the world's most intelligent, charismatic, well-loved, interesting uh, species on the planet, and we're losing it to, uh, to an ivory trade that is not for a health benefit or, or for any practical purposes. So I've been studying elephants. I'm now entering my 16th year on a known population of elephants in Kenya. About four years ago, we started seeing major changes in the impacts of human illegal killing on the elephants. We started seeing some very well-known individuals poach. And so elephants that I had met for the first time when they were two years old, or seen them born, were shot and had their tusks cut out for ivory. And that was a very harsh uh, reality to see, but it helped wake me and our team up to the magnitude of the pressure these animals were facing. And so our research program is really focused now on understanding the impacts of this large-scale illegal killing of elephants on the population, unfortunately. And we're estimating that in 2011, uh, probably 7 to 8 percent of African elephants on the continent were illegally killed, which uh, again is an unsustainable rate. It's very high. And the result of that is a likely species decline on the order of 3 to 4 percent. And our study is the first to quantitatively and explicitly demonstrate uh, the magnitude of illegal killing and that that uh, level of illegal killing is causing or leading to the decline of the species. And the hope now is that that information will be integrated into policy decisions. But most importantly for us is that the information on the rate of illegal killing, the fact that ivory is collected from killing animals, that information is disseminated broadly globally to those who are purchasing ivory. And hopefully that will help stem the demand for this product. And I think only with stemming the demand are we going to be able to deal with this issue. And see how quickly a piece of country will restock with wolves or lions, you will know what I mean. So that's Leopold in 1920. In general, and I think one of the things we work on teaching here at Colorado State is that to manage wildlife and to deal with endangered species issues and to deal with um, social issues with natural resource management, uh, you need very strong data and evidence of, of the impacts of humans on the resource. We're fortunate to have Dr. Wittemeyer here at CSU and so are the students that he teaches. He's taken an active role in teaching and mentoring students and importantly he brings his first-hand research knowledge studying wildlife populations both internationally and nationally into the classroom. And so what we've seen with elephants in Africa is during the last episode of poaching. Indeed he's one of the, the world's top experts on the behavior, ecology and conservation of African elephants. For that reason, his guidance is routinely sought to help confront the ongoing crisis of poaching of African elephants for their ivory. We're going for meat, we're going for large body size. And so I think George's experiences in Kenya, and as well as his current experiences now, give him that breadth that he can really connect with a lot of those students. Also, him being able to have a lot of uh, personal anecdotes that he can bring to the classroom really helps uh, the students connect with the material in a better way. And after the intensive hunting, basically you shoot a population down from when I did my undergraduate research, I had a door open to me, um, happened to be in the elephant world. It was not something that I saw coming, but the door opened and I stepped through that door. And I have followed that path, and I've been very fortunate that I uh, landed in the right spot at the right time, I suppose.